Hello, you YouTubers out there. This is Craig uh, coming at you with another video on a mini higher portable wash machine, clothes washer. This washer has a mini clothes dryer that goes with it, and both of, of uh, these appliances go to our RV. Um, and I brought them in for the winter, and I figured I would do a quick video of it in case anybody out there is interested in this machine for their house or RV or apartment, whatever it may be. So I'm going to do a quick video for you and see how this goes. So I have this in our um, uh, hall bathroom. Uh, this is our bathroom for um, the guest side of the house. And so it's not used much, so I figured it'd be a great place to uh, give this thing a shot. I will be hooking this up to the sink in the bathroom and you can drain this into the sink, into the toilet, into the tub, into a drain. This thing is great because you can hook it up to a sink, you can hook it up to your regular plumbing. There are multiple ways to use this uh, mini washer, but let's go ahead again. I'm going to hook it up to the sink in my bathroom, drain it into my toilet, and it'll also be plugged into a GFI um, outlet. So here we go. So for the water, you connect it with this, which it connects very easily um, to a nipple that connects onto your faucet, which I'll show you here in a second. So let me turn this around. And put this down and get you to see how I connect this to the faucet. So there is the faucet, and as you can see right here, it has a nipple that will connect to this, okay? So you will connect this to the nipple by pulling this sleeve back, connecting it on, and releasing. I'll show you that. So connect, push on, sometime, there you go, and it clicks and then you can turn your water on. Of course, you can adjust your water temperature um, by your faucet, hot, cold, warm, or whatever. Um, I'll be doing um, warm, okay? And then your electric will be connected by the plug, okay? And let me turn you back around and I'll show you how I do the drain for this. get around this other side. So here's the drain. And you could put this, you know, down a regular drain into the sink, uh, your tub, your toilet, whatever. Um, I put it down the toilet. There we go. And I will show you how I did that. So you see I have the drain right into our toilet. Okay, turn this back around. There we go. So I'm just gonna throw some random clothes in there just to show you um, how this thing works. I'll go through the control panel real quick. So right here is your on off button, which is in red. Here is your start pause button, which is in green. On this side, this is your water level button where you can do low, medium, or high. This button is your cycle button, which you can pick um, either spin, rinse and spin, wash, rinse and spin, quick wash, rinse and spin, and then heavy duty, rinse and spin. Now again with this, which is nice, you can just do any of the above. You can just do a spin or just a rinse and spin. You could do multiple things with that. And how you do it is with this button. Okay. So let me give you a quick up close look at the control panel. 
that you can see exactly what I was talking about. So here it is with the, well, I'll get my hand in here, power switch, start pause, water level, which are the low, medium, and high, and your cycle. And then here's where you, these will be the ones that light up telling you where you are, what cycle you picked, and where you are within the wash, wash cycle. And then here's a look on the inside of the tub, which is stainless steel and the agitator that spins at the bottom. Okay, so here we go. Let me set you back up. And let's get this show on the road, okay? So I'm gonna turn it on. It automatically defaults to a medium water level, normal wash, rinse, and spin. Now, if you wanna change any of these settings, you do it by your cycle. So each time you press your cycle button, that will change your cycle here. So watch, if I press it once, it went to a high water level, heavy wash, rinse and spin. I press it again, okay? Then it goes to a medium water level, quick wash, rinse and spin. I press again, now I'm doing just a wash. Now I'm doing medium water level with a normal wash and then a rinse. Now I'm doing medium water level with a rinse and spin. Now I'm just doing medium water level with just a spin. Now I'm doing medium, normal, rinse and spin, a normal cycle, okay? So today I'm going to pick normal wash, but my water level I'm going to have high. So high water level with a normal wash following a regular rinse and a spin. Okay, so I hit the start button, and here we go, it's filling. I'm going to add a little bit of detergent, and let me tell you, because it's a small washer, only add a little tiny bit of detergent. You do not need a lot of detergent for this. If you add a lot, you're going to have a lot of suds, and you might end up with a mess on your hands. So while that's filling, let me get some clothes. Again, this is going to be a mixed load. This is just, you know, to demonstrate. So you're going to have mix of colors and whites and all that good stuff. But you have just regular clothes. And the lid, I think I'm going to clean it up a little bit. It's kind of dusty. And I think the only way you can see through there is when the lid's closed to see how it works. So I'm going to wipe it off a little bit to make sure it's a little bit clearer so that you can see it as best as possible. It's a little dusty. Again, I just brought this in from our RV. So it's a little dusty. There we go. So we're filling.
I can say this machine does a pretty good job and it's quiet, it's lightweight, so it's very portable. Um, it's on wheels, you can roll it around. Uh, we love it in the RV. When we go for a long vacation, uh, it's just nice to be able to wash and dry your clothes and keep going. Instead of packing a lot of clothes, we take a little bit of clothes and just wash and dry them as we need them. But it's very quiet, very easy to use. Um, so as you can see, it's agitating really well. I'm gonna take you off the tripod here and let you see inside a little bit. As you can see, it's doing a pretty good job. Um, so I'm just gonna let you sit here. I'm gonna try to adjust as best I can so that you guys can see the controls and also see what's going on inside. So just bear with me, it might shake a little bit. There you go. I think that'll let you see the clothes as you're washing around in there.
Okay, I'm going to show you the touch panel so that you see what it looks like and what it does as it's running, okay? So here we go. You look down. The light is flashing saying it is running on the wash cycle. We are on the high water level, okay? Put you back where you belong. Whoops, sorry.
Okay, now we are on the drain part of it. And as you can see, it is draining into the toilet. And if you're wondering what products I'm using today, I am using and then I will be using Now we are going into the spin. And I have found, I've watched this cycle a couple of times and I found it'll spin and slow down and drains out the water and it does that several times until its final spin, which is the longest spin as in time. You will find that uh, if you get this unit, your clothes come out pretty well dry. And again, this is the higher H A I E R item number H L P 21 N mini portable wash machine top loader. Okay, now we are filling with the rinse water and I'll show you how you can put in your fabric softener. So you have, well, three choices. Don't use any and just let it go. Two, you can open the lid and add the fabric softener or within the handle here, there is a hole. And I've realized I can just add my fabric softener there and it goes right in without opening or disrupting the cycle. So I'll show you how I do that. So I just add it into this handle, which it pours right on in. And 
when that drains all the way out, I follow it up with some water and just rinse it out. That way it doesn't mess up the handle. So you have a choice, just do a regular wash with no fabric softener, or you can open the lid and put it in, or you can put it in the handle. It's your call, whichever way you want to go. Um, it's your laundry, your machine, you do as you wish, right? But anyways, there you go, it's filling. Please note, the washer will not run. It will do, not do anything but fill with water if the lid is open. So as you see, if you leave the lid open, it beeps and flashes at you. So you have to close the lid in order for it to run. Now, as in capacity, it all depends on what you have. Now, in our camper or RV, two of the beds are singles. So I can put the flat sheet, fitted sheet, and pillowcase in all at one time. The master bedroom bed is a king size. So with that, I will put the uh, flat sheet fit it sheet and two pillowcases in and I'm fine. Uh, when it comes to blankets, I have to do them one at a time. Uh, and clothes, um, I've done two pair of jeans, uh, some underwear, socks, and a shirt, um, stuff like that. But uh, with this type of machine, an agitator, I suggest do not overload because the clothes will not come out that well. Um, I'd rather do two loads and have clean clothes and well rinsed than do them all at one time and have them come out, you know, not so great. Right now where we are draining and getting ready for a spin.
Okay, there you go. It is complete. And I can, like I've been trying to tell people um, when I was out camping, the clothes, they come out pretty, uh, pretty dry. They're not dripping wet. You can hang them outside. Um, again, we use this uh, in our RV when we go camping. And usually I'll just hang some of the stuff outside on the line. Uh, but we, it does have a matching dryer, which I'll do a video of that uh, in the next couple of days. So you can see how that is. And um, I'm also want to give you some measurements in case you were trying to put this in your caravan or RV or camper uh, in your bathroom or maybe apartment or something. Uh, I'll give you the measurements. So I'm going to back you up a little bit. And I'm going to give you the measurements uh, on this so that you can know if it'll fit or not for you. So here we go. So from front to back, it is um, approximately 17 inches. From left to right, it is 17 inches. And the height of it, now the front is shorter. So from floor, and I have the wheels on this. So from the floor to the top in the front is about 29 inches. Now the back I think is a little bit taller, but we're gonna find out. And it is, so the back is about 31 inches. Okay, so the back is 31 inches tall and the front is about 29 inches tall. Okay. Seventeen front to back, left to right, seventeen. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe or share, and we'll talk to you later.